Este es el reggae que empieza a sonar Va de Vilcabamba hasta las orillas del mar Este es el reggae que empieza a sonar Va de Vilcabamba hasta las orillas del mar Lleva el mensaje de hermandad y sanación Curremos a la pacha, derrumbemos Babilón Lleva el mensaje de hermandad y sanación Curremos a la tierra, derribemos Babilón Welcome, glorious family, to another episode of Alegría here, blessed and happy to be with you once again. I am Camila from the Rainbow Sunshine family. Welcome to this new episode where we have many great surprises and in store for you treats. First, I want to thank you for accompanying us in this journey of Alegría. Thank you to all of you divine beings who have shared with us your questions, comments, perspectives, all of this energy that you apport to us helps in the growth and evolution of Alegría. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. For today, we have a magnificent show to offer you. We have art in poetry. We have a session of questions and answers from your questions that you have shared with us recently. And we have also a session of acupressure, tools that you can use in your life. And to end the day, we will offer you the affirmation of today to empower your life and your presence. So thank you. Get comfortable and enjoy the ride of Alegría. The Hub of the Wheel, poem by Ilu. Outside of my cave, I witness, inhaling the vastness. Inside of my cave, I witness, exhaling the vastness. The beloved found me in the undefinable in between. No more does a dusty mirror face to face a clean. Polish the mirror here and witness the clarity of perfect divinity within thee. The reflection, your liberation, and this eternal experiential insight so close your eyes and come to realize this beloved identity that dwells in between each breath conscious poetry for a sacred life Join us now while we check out some of the questions that you've shared with us and give them answers. Hello, beautiful family. I'm here reading the Alegria TV show number one comments. In this show we present the breathing to our, our greatness and the 21 breaths of joy. So I have one question here that I would love to go into. And this is, is this synonymous with activating the Merkava or light body that Drumbalo Melchizedek talks about? Transitioning into the heart so that one can once again breathe prana, peace and love. Peace and love for you also. Um, about your question, yes. <laughs> this is the body of light. We are the body of light already. And everything is synonymous of that. All our path, it bring us back to this natural state in which we recognize that we already are the body of light expressing 
through this physical body. One of these ways is the breath. Because when we are in the breath, we can travel deep into our being. And from the third eye, from the heart, from the crown, we can see, feel, learn from the light. And he recognized that we are already and that we have never been separated from our body of light. The easy way also to be in your body of light is accepting that you already are a body of light expressing consciousness through your physical body in this physical reality creating happiness to expand the universe. So welcome now to this part of the show. Here we are now with my dear friend Jenna Schroeder and she is going to share with us a very special session of acupressure. Would you like to explain to us a little bit about what acupressure is and the benefits that people can receive from using these techniques? Sure. Um, acupressure is um, the points that are used are the same points used in acupuncture. Um, these points lie on energy pathways all throughout and all over our bodies. Um, and these energy pathways circulate chi within our body. And to um, maintain your just health and balance in your body, emotionally, physically, um, spiritually, you need the chi to continue to circulate throughout your body. Um, and sometimes at these points, used in acupuncture or acupressure, um, there can be an energy buildup or a lack of energy or chi in that spot. So um, acupressure is a great tool to use to um, maintain your own health and wellness and it's very accessible to you. All you need is your hands and um, a little bit of information about where these points, these energy vortexes per se, where they lie. Um, and so I'm going to do a little demonstration on Camila, and, um, but you can do these on yourself as well. Wonderful. So let's give it a try. All right. So um, a nice way to start is one finger on this third eye. Third eye point. It's not an official acupressure point, but it feels nice and we know that the third eye is connected to opening up uh, intuition and vision and um, so it's a nice point. And then the other point is right in the center of the sternum. And the center of the sternum point, um, this is good for emotional balance and for calming and grounding. So this is a nice way to start a session, holding these points. Here in what we call kind of the Hara area, this is a source of a lot of energy. And that is why this point is called the Sea of Energy. And um, this is an energy building point. Um, so you know, definitely helpful to hold if you are struggling with fatigue or um, just need a general energy building tonic. I use my middle finger and I was taught to use my middle finger and to as well the two fingers that you are next to your middle finger to apply some pressure with those fingers as well so that it doesn't feel so pokey. 
I still hold two points sometimes. On the top of the shoulders, halfway between the base of the neck and the edge of the shoulder. So, right about here. And this one is great um, for any neck or shoulder pain. Um, but also for irritability, headaches. Sometimes rubbing them can help bring and move energy and chi around. And, and you can hold again. I feel this one all the way out through the crown. Yeah. Pull in the inner eye socket and pull or push straight up. On this one I'm using my index finger just because it's kind of a smaller, more delicate place. This uh, point is really good for allergies, headache, sinus problems, and like many uh, acupressure points, you can feel a slight indentation in the bones if you feel here. It's like a little, tiny little pocket. You can usually um, apply more pressure by the points on your back. Uh, and then, like I said, points on your face. Um, you want to be sensitive to and maybe not apply as much pressure. But if you're doing it on yourself, you can usually kind of tell. You know, you, wanna, you don't want to be uncomfortable, but you want to feel the energy. And this point is called the Master Energy Tonic, so it's even more powerful for generating energy. You want to follow the clavicle bone until, until it kind of comes to a head down here. Right about here. Until it's almost reaching your sternum having a long day at work or um, you just feel a little bit depleted, this is a great point to hold on yourself. Um, and again, just um, take deep breaths and visualize energy in that area. Something that you're looking to do is to feel a pulse under your finger. Um, and you usually hold the points, if you're holding points that there's one on each side, um, you want to hold it until the pulses synchronize. And so each, both sides are having the same pressure and rate of pulse. You find the armpit crease, and it's about four finger widths above the armpit crease, and two finger widths in. So it's right about here. Maybe of interest to many people that watch this program, this point opens the breath. See? I feel that. You feel that, yeah. This is... This is mainly how I learned this point, was specifically for opening the breath, deepening the breath. This point is also um, more emotionally for grief and for letting go. So just follow the crease towards the elbow. And I would, you know, it looks, it's before you hit any bone over here. So it's just right in that little pocket. And this is a great point for building immunity. You look just for the center of the eyebrow and you do about two finger widths above. So, right here. And this point um, is great for before meditation or before sleep. Um, it quiets the mind.
I feel like um, like there's a helmet of light in my head that she's experiencing that. Um, and that is one of the main purposes, just to open up energy flow in your body. So that you can heal and build and rejuvenate. Mm, perfect for couples, yeah. It's like such a easy tool that you can both practice on each other and a really nice gift to give each other. Um, this is a common point that a lot of people know for headaches and um, you follow the, this crease here and you just push up into the index finger metacarpal up there. And that one often feels strong for people um, and this one brings energy down in your body. Um, and for that reason, it is contraindicated in pregnancy. And there are a few of these that are contraindicated in pregnancy. Um, so be sure to make sure if you are pregnant, know which points are okay to work on. So to end any session of massage or body work, I just like to do some really um, grounding, holding in different points. So this I'm just holding the crown, the top of the head, and hand in the heart. To just hold in the area of the chakras. session to say what's mine is mine what's yours is yours um, with a gift from the universe of health and vitality <laughs> she feels good mm. <laughs> thank you Jenna for sharing this mm -hmm. I have to say it's an amazing technique. I feel really open in my whole body. I really do feel the chi, the prana flowing freely through me. When you touched each of those points, I felt huge openings in them. Like the, the vortex of the chakra was just spinning really um, freely. Mm -hmm. And I feel so light really light mm -hmm. so I would it's definitely wonderful. recommend <laughs> using these points using these tools this is a very magical practice oh, I'm so glad thank you, you so much it. Jenna Mwah. you're <laughs> welcome yeah thanks for allowing me to share with everyone it's great to be here mm. <laughs> so in this same vibration this same relaxed and peaceful sensation mm. We're going to offer you now the affirmation of today. Beautiful. Breathe in, enjoy it, love it.
Thank you for joining us once again on Alegria, where we breathe into our greatness. We wish you the best in your life, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Va de Vilcabamba hasta las orillas del mar Este es el reggae que empieza a sonar Va de Vilcabamba hasta las orillas del mar Lleva el mensaje de hermandad y sanación Curremos a la pacha, derrumbemos Babilón. Lleva el mensaje de hermandad y sanación. Curemos a la tierra, derribemos Babilón.